Hello my friends, welcome back and well I hope that you already try fixing all the problems. Inside this video I will show you how easily is to fix the problems behind this HTML document. And well, here we go. Let's go first of all to tools and validate local HTML. And then as you can see we are going to have 51 errors. So let's scroll down and start fixing them. First of all we are going to have the end tag for the meta element has been omitted. Now if you already know again HTML you will know that the meta element and the meta tag well first of all will be an empty tag and then it will be an empty element. This is one of the things that I already talked about and things that I will be talking about inside my HTML training. Let me go in here and here's what I will recommend you to do is make a selection on the problem then right click copy going back to Komodo 7 and then click edit and find right click and paste then click find next there we are and as you can see this will be the meta element which won't have the ending tag again this will be an empty element and we should close the empty tags by using the diagonal line. And you can notice right away in here, down here, you are going to have another meta tag. Again, we are going to include that because we already know that it will be wrong. Let me click view and war wrap so I can see all my elements inside one page. Now something that I will be mentioning inside the HTML training and probably I already mentioned is that inside HTML5 you can actually eliminate the diagonal line inside the empty element. However, my recommendation is to always include the diagonal line so you can create a good habit while developing Joomla templates and of course while using HTML. Let me go down here. This will be another meta element down here space diagonal space right here down here diagonal then down here another meta element right now I am just going to accelerate the process because I am not teaching you why this is happening I am just giving you the general idea and let me show you something very quickly this will be a PDF that you are going to be downloading inside the HTML training and you can see that the meta element will be an empty element with the diagonal line the link will be an empty element, HR, the image, input, and all these are going to be empty elements. So let me go back in here and let me continue. Down here the meta element, diagonal, and all these links are going to be empty elements. Let me include the diagonal. Continue down here. Let's scroll down. And here we have another link. So let me click file and save and we are going to go back and revalidate the document let's click refresh then go back to tools and validate local HTML and so far we went from 51 to 40 let's continue scroll down and well as you can see and if you know HTML I did a mistake I leave this empty space between the ending diagonal line here so I will need to go back and eliminate all those empty spaces. But let me scroll down and you can see in here that I am going to have a duplicate ID. When you start taking the training, these IDs, which are going to be element identifiers, they are going to be identifying the element inside the HTML markup and one rule behind the ID attributes. You cannot use to IDs with the same value. In this case we have menu and menu. And continue down here. Let me go back and fix those problems. Going back and scroll up a little bit. Let's go back in here. You can see the space in here. Let me go up. Everything in here is fine. Let's scroll down. And well, you can see the ID right away in here, the menu, twice, okay? At this moment, we are not going to be analyzing which CSS style 
will be modifying this element. Right now I am just going to eliminate one ID with the value menu so I can validate this document. Control S, going back and we are going to refresh one more time tools and validate local HTML. 36 errors. Let's scroll down and as you can see we are going to have the same problem. The image will be an empty element and this element won't have the ending diagonal line. Down here the same with the breaking line. Image, the input will be the same problem. Input, input. So let's go and modify those problems. Let's go and use find. We are going to find all the images. Initial angle bracket, then the image, find X, and you can see the image in here. The ending angle bracket, space, diagonal. Let's continue. Let me go back to my find. Next, this will be another image which won't have the ending diagonal line. Going back, find next, one more time, this will be another image. Let's go down here, space, going back, find next, and again we are going to have another image down here, space, diagonal, and we are going to continue finding these images. Click find next, let me go down in here, this will be my image, space, and diagonal. Another image I can spot right away in here. Now, something that I did notice right away is that this image won't have the all attribute. Inside the HTML training, I will be talking about this, which will be about the attributes that are going to be required for your image. Let's go down here inside this image, the same process, diagonal, down here, down here, space, diagonal, continue, down here, space, diagonal, the next image, down here, and continue with the same process. Now let me control F, and we are going to use this tool down here, let's type initial angle bracket, input, there we are. These inputs are not going to have the ending diagonal line. So let's go in here, space, diagonal, the input, space, diagonal, space, diagonal, and the same here. Let's go to File, Save, and one more time, the same process, Refresh, and Tools, and Validate Local HTML. Well, see what happened. This is the crazy thing while validating HTML, and it is good that it is happening right now, because if you do a mistake, you will need to go back and change everything again but again we are going to fix right now everything and all the problems that we are making in here the image in here will have let me go back very quickly well let me analyze this as you can see this will be a mistake because the UL won't be an empty element so let me copy all this control C and going back this was my mistake control F down here and control V. Eliminate this diagonal inside the UL element and up here right there control S and one more time refresh validate local HTML. There we are that will be a lot better. Did you notice how only one mistake increased the problems behind this HTML document? So you will need to be careful However, you will need to keep in mind experience, knowledge, and of course a lot of practice will make these things very easily to understand and to fix. Otherwise, believe me, don't expect easy things behind this knowledge. Scroll down and continue. The breaking lines are going to be empty. So we are going to go ahead and fix all those lines, breaking lines. And now, as I already told you, some images were not having the all attribute so we are going to go back and fix those let me just copy all this control C and going back then control F and control V 
there we are.